The book, The Innovation Stack, by Jim McKelvey provides valuable insights into what it takes to be a successful entrepreneur. The author shares his own experience of building Square, a billion-dollar financial services company, from scratch. The book highlights the importance of identifying a problem that no one else has solved and taking bold steps to solve it. Through his entrepreneurial journey, McKelvey learned that solving one problem often leads to another. As a result, true entrepreneurs are those who are willing to adapt and evolve their innovation stacks to keep up with the changing needs of their customers. The book explains what innovation stacks are and how they can help entrepreneurs achieve success. One of the key takeaways from the book is the importance of humility in the entrepreneurial journey. McKelvey emphasizes that successful entrepreneurs are not afraid to admit their mistakes and learn from them. They understand that failure is a necessary part of the process and use it as an opportunity to grow and improve. In summary, the innovation stack is a must read for anyone who aspires to be a true entrepreneur. The book provides valuable insights into what it takes to build a successful company from scratch and highlights the importance of innovation, adaptability, and humility in the entrepreneurial journey. Idea 1. Entrepreneurship is a challenging journey that involves treading uncharted territory. According to Jim McKelvey, building a successful business is not about copying what others have done, but about finding new ways to solve new problems. While many businesses have achieved success by repackaging already established ideas, true entrepreneurs are the fearless explorers who step out into the unknown. To truly make a difference in the world, one must draw a giant circle around everything that humankind knows and then leave the circle. This requires an entrepreneurial mindset that involves curiosity, creativity, and a willingness to take risks. Like the brave explorers who ventured beyond the walls of medieval Edinburgh, entrepreneurs must be willing to risk their lives to discover something new and unseen. While the term entrepreneur is often used to describe anyone with a business, true entrepreneurs are those who are constantly pushing the boundaries of what is possible. They are not afraid to explore new ideas, take risks, and make mistakes. They understand that success requires a different approach, one that involves stepping out into the unknown and creating something truly innovative. In summary, Entrepreneurship is not about copying what others have done, but about finding new ways to solve new problems. True entrepreneurs are fearless explorers who are willing to take risks and push the boundaries of what is possible. They have a mindset that embraces curiosity, creativity, and innovation, and they understand that success requires stepping out into the unknown and taking bold action. Idea 2. Jim McKelvey's experience as a glass artist led to the creation of Square, a company that revolutionized credit card payments for small business owners. In 2008, McKelvey lost a sale because his studio could not accept American Express, which sparked the idea for Square. At that time, credit card payments were limited to registered merchants, leaving many small business owners unable to accept card payments. This was a perfect problem for McKelvey and his co-founder, Jack Dorsey, as they were determined to solve it. Through his research, McKelvey discovered that credit card companies were making significantly more profit from small businesses than from large corporations. He was motivated to fix the broken system, and in February 2009, Square was founded. The name, Square, was chosen because the company aimed to square up the world of credit cards by making payments accessible to all. Perfect problems, as exemplified by McKelvey's experience, can be both large and small. The important factor is the individual's motivation and drive to find a solution. Perfect problems provide an opportunity to create innovative solutions that can change the world. Idea 3. McKelvey and Dorsey were in need of funding for Square just six months after its launch. To impress venture capitalists, they took a unique approach to their pitch by showcasing a working prototype of a card reader that could process payments through an iPhone's headset jack. They then asked each potential investor for their credit card, swiped it using the card reader, and charged them between $1 and $40 to demonstrate the functionality of their product. This unconventional method caught the attention of investors, who had never seen a pitch like this before. In addition to the credit card demo, the pitch deck included a slide called, 140 Reason Square, Will Fail, which highlighted all the possible ways the company could fail 
ranging from legitimate concerns such as fraud and bank regulations to comical risks like a robot uprising. This humorous slide also carried a serious message that demonstrated Square's transparency and willingness to confront potential problems. The pitch deck and demo approach challenged the traditional dynamic between founders and venture capitalists, and put the two parties on equal footing. By clearly laying out any pitfalls and showing that they had considered every possible reason for failure, McKelvey and Dorsey won over investors and secured funding for Square. This innovative pitch process was praised as one of the best pitches ever seen by a managing partner at a top venture capitalist firm. Idea 4. Square, a payment processing company, faced significant challenges when it first launched, from legal issues to problems related to pricing and transaction fees. However, the founders, Dorsey and McKelvey, were committed to building a simple and transparent product for small business owners. To overcome these challenges, the founders adopted an innovative approach that involved solving one problem at a time, which led to a chain of interlocking inventions called an innovation stack. The company's first innovation was a clear and affordable pricing model, which established trust and transparency in an industry where neither had existed before. However, this decision had unintended consequences, such as the loss of revenue on small transactions due to transaction fees. To address this problem, Square needed a high volume of larger transactions, which required convincing millions of merchants to use their payment system. By overcoming these challenges and innovating along the way, Square's innovation stack became a powerful asset that changed payment processing forever. The company's success was due to the founder's commitment to simplicity and transparency, and their willingness to solve one problem at a time, leading to a series of interlocking inventions that transformed the payment processing industry. Idea 5. Innovation stacks are not a predetermined blueprint, but rather a result of a company's efforts to survive and thrive. The Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur, are a prime example of this. In creating the world's first airplane, they had to invent numerous components from scratch. Each solution to a problem led to a new set of challenges and further innovation, resulting in a massive innovation stack. Similarly, Square's founders, McKelvey and Dorsey, did not set out to be innovative for the sake of it. Rather, they innovated out of necessity to stay afloat. Square's innovation stack comprises 14 blocks that must work in conjunction with one another. For example, their low pricing model encouraged people to sign up for a trial period, but to break even, they needed to keep hardware costs dirt cheap. By continually solving problems, McKelvey and Dorsey developed a portable card reader that was not just cheap, but ridiculously so. This innovation solved a specific problem, but it required a series of new inventions. The company's commitment to transparency and customer satisfaction was also revolutionary at the time. Innovation stacks are not a planned out process, but rather a result of trial and error. Each solution to a problem leads to a new set of challenges and further innovation, resulting in a stack of interlocking inventions that make a business more resilient and powerful. Idea 6. In the business world, competitors abound and are always ready to take away customers and market share. For Square, a significant challenge came from Amazon, a company with seemingly limitless resources and a reputation for entering and dominating any market it desires. In 2014, Jeff Bezos, the CEO of Amazon, threatened Square by copying its card reader and making it better, all while undercutting its price by 30%. At this point, Square had to decide whether to change its design and compete with Amazon, or stick to its principles of beautiful design and simple pricing. Rather than compromising its values, Square chose to do nothing and stayed the course. Remarkably, this decision proved to be the right one. By Halloween of 2015, Amazon announced it was discontinuing its copycat reader. Square's success in fending off Amazon may have been due to the company's adherence to its core principles, which included beautiful design and simple pricing. Instead of engaging in direct competition, Square kept doing what it did best, and this ultimately proved to be the key to its success. Idea 7. In the early 1900s, the world of banking was primitive, with banks offering little help or services to small companies. As a result, such companies often fell into the hands of loan sharks, who charged extremely high interest rates. But in 1901, A.P. Giannini, 
a young Italian-American, decided to take a stand against unethical banking practices by opening his own bank in San Francisco, the Bank of Italy. Giannini's bank was a pioneer in modern banking, offering branches, savings, checking, and small loans to hundreds of millions of people. He did this by creating an innovation stack, a combination of innovations that allowed his bank to stand out from its competitors. Giannini's innovation stack consisted of two primary blocks, firstly, he focused on the little man. Giannini believed that small businessmen were the most valuable clients a bank could have because they deposited savings more than anyone else. Secondly, Giannini recognized that finances were considered a man's game in 1901, but he opened banking to small business women as well. When the 19th Amendment gave women the right to vote, the Bank of Italy introduced the Women's Banking Department, which allowed women to access their own accounts without their husband's involvement. Giannini's Bank of Italy, now the Bank of America, continued to evolve its innovation stack through continuous invention and perseverance. His desire to improve the world of banking for all has made him a role model for entrepreneurs like McKelvey. Giannini's innovation stack was so powerful that it allowed his bank to become the largest bank in the world, and it still influences modern banking practices today. Idea 8. When it comes to entrepreneurship, many people feel like they lack the necessary qualifications or expertise. However, some of the most successful innovators throughout history had no formal education or experience in their field of focus. Consider the example of A.P. Giannini, who started as a produce vendor before founding one of the world's largest banks. Another example is Jack Dorsey, who had no financial expertise before co-founding Square, a payment processing company. While expertise can be valuable when it comes to iterating on existing business ideas, it is often overrated in the world of entrepreneurship. The most successful entrepreneurs are those who are willing to take risks, try new things, and learn as they go. Copying an existing idea and making it better is a valid strategy for entrepreneurs, as demonstrated by the success of Shake Shack. The owner did not invent anything new, he simply copied the menu from other restaurants and focused on improving the packaging and operations. The key to success as an entrepreneur is not expertise, but a willingness to take action and learn from failure. Many would-be entrepreneurs are held back by the belief that they need to be experts in a particular field before they can launch a successful business. In reality, the willingness to try something new and take risks is what sets successful entrepreneurs apart from the rest of the world. Summary the key message of the book is that to create an innovation stack, you need to be willing to step out of your comfort zone and try something new and daring. Solving one problem leads to the creation of another, and this chain of problem-solution problem drives businesses to innovate continuously. The actionable advice is to lean into fear and not give up when faced with uncertainty or the possibility of failure. Embrace the journey and keep exploring, as the rewards of innovation and entrepreneurship can be great. Now, thank you for taking the time to watch, and if you found value in this video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more great content, trust me, you won't regret it.